How would you describe your knowledge of Yiddish? Well, in Unser Sachen, you know, you use a lot of Yiddish. Yeah, well, I mean, I certainly heard it growing up, and my grandparents spoke it freely around me all the time, but my feeling is that the grandparents speak it, the children understand it, and the grandchildren can curse. So I can curse a few curses. I don't really understand phrases in Yiddish, you know. Um, I never learned it. And I have trouble learning languages and other alphabets because I just didn't start learning that kind of thing early enough. But, you know, I found a lot of it coming out, and I think it comes out in my speech patterns and in my thought process, like in the way that I write dialogue. A lot of that stuff wrote itself. The Meyer Birnbaum character, he wrote himself. He, he came in he, like an angel from heaven and spoke through me with his foul little mouth. He was great. <laughs> I swear. I mean, I want to say I didn't, I didn't create him. I really felt like he arrived fully formed. Um, I catch myself using a lot of Yiddishified English, like Yiddish syntax a lot. I, I heard this interview with uh, Nathan Englander where he was talking about that, and he said something about having been educated first in Yiddish-speaking schools or in yeshivas or something, and then having had, to, having had that syntax beaten out of him. I thought, oh, it must have been so hard. I, I prefer to just leave it in there. It's fun. It's like the last vestige of that language for me. But I had to ask, I mean, I had people that I asked for Yiddish help. Like if I wanted to know, you know, okay, so how would this person in this context say this to someone in Yiddish? Or what's the Yiddish word for blank, whatever? I got it wrong in a couple of instances, too, and had to edit it. Um, and it's interesting, I think... That's how I began to realize that the, the kind of Yiddish that people learn in an academic setting is really different than dialect. My family all are Galicianers and spoke Yiddish at home. And so there's two layers there, right? There's, there's the dialect layer and then there's the context layer. So my mother knows domestic Yiddish. She wouldn't know, for example, having a discussion about a philosophy book is something that she would be able to do in English, but not in Yiddish probably. But she could talk kitchen. She could talk house stuff in Yiddish, but just because that was, you know, in the street she wasn't speaking Yiddish, she was speaking English. Um, but there were a couple of times when I would get an academic word from my academic Yiddish friend and my mom would be like, what is that? Take that out. Nobody says that. And then her cousin would pipe up, yeah. She would just say, I give vault. <laughs>